time for the invitation. الحقيقة دكتورة إيناس ادتني the key of introduction بتاع the presentation. قالت إن إحنا the diabetes management is shifted مش بس for the hemoglobin A1C control بس it shifted towards the outcome. إحنا ممكن نوصل hemoglobin A1C control by different drugs بس إحنا عندنا different benefits that we can get from other drugs. فإحنا بقينا directed دائما بالذات from the cardiology point of view to choose or to recommend the use of anti-diabetics that have an important prognostic and treatment effects on cardiovascular events. One of these molecules, of course, is sodium glucose co-transporter 2 inhibitors and it's called impact deflosin. The title of the presentation is Impact deflosin is a game changer in heart failure management. Before I go through the presentation, I'll give you a brief a very brief uh, uh, hint on heart failure. How deleterious effect of the heart failure on the general population. High heart failure is a pandemic. Heart failure is the number one killing cause for Masr and in developed countries. Well, five-year mortality is about 50%. يعني did layer than most of the cancers. يعني 50% من الناس اللي بنكشف عليهم في العيادة with heart failure, they will die within five years. But this is a major cause of mortality, not in Egypt, but in developed countries. It's number one cause of hospitalization and emergency room visits in the developed countries, heart failure. And that makes a big burden on health care providers, because heart failure hospitalization is one of the major cause of paying from health care providers on the patients. Not just that, the heart failure is also cannot be defined as a stable disease at any point. يعني أنا ما أقدرش أقول نعين heart failure ده is an stable condition. لأن the heart failure at any time can be decompensated ويخش المستشفى يتحجز ويطلع من المستشفى أوحش بكتير مما دخل. With this effect مش بس على the symptoms لا ده implied كمان على the cardiac muscle على the ejection fraction. The repeated hospitalization بتؤدي إلى repeated decline in the ejection fraction with cardiac performance. So it is never we can never describe the heart failure patient as a stable patient. He's always in a progressive disease. If heart failure is a progressive disease. We try to control it by the medications. Okay. And then a different gaps in the heart failure treatment. One of the most important gaps in إحنا عندنا disease modifying agents. إحنا عندنا Several drugs and several group of drugs that can modify the disease and prevent the progression, including the Macolinarfin Taban, the ACE inhibitors with ARBs, the ARNI, the whole sacopetrial valzartan, the beta blockers, and mineralocorticoid antagonists. I'm not going to go into the guidelines, or go into the NAFLE guidelines, but in the most of the time, I'm going to go into the NAFLE guidelines. Due to either the side effects that you can do, or the result of the negligence of the patient or the physician to prescribe this disease-modifying agent to prevent the progression of the heart failure. The heart failure is not just by impact the mortality, but by impact the morbidity and the quality of life of the patients. Most of the heart failure, about 70% of them, have symptoms of depression. They are not able to perform their daily activities, and in addition, it is not just that they are in the hospital. ومش قادر يعمل وال 50 50% 5 year mortality الا انه كمان عنده symptoms of depression with decreased productivity. The cardiac functions affecting most of the organs وفي a very strong and close relationship between the cardiac functions and the renal functions وكنا زمان بنطلق عليه اسم cardio renal syndrome. الحقيقة ال decline in the cardiac functions with decreasing the ejection fraction with decreasing the output ده بيؤدي إلى decrease في renal blood flow and glomerular filtration rate وبيعمل reverse activation في neurohormonal system ورين angiotensin aldosterone system leading to more deleterious effect على الكيدنيز وما الكيدني function تيجي decline هيبتدي يبقى عندي more affection على cardiac functions through activation بتاع رين angiotensin aldosterone system and through restriction of the drugs that they can use in the patients with impaired kidney functions وفي نفس الوقت some of the drugs طبعا من اللي هي في علاج الهارت فيلير بتؤدي الى decrease في الكيدني فانكشنز through decreasing the glomerular filtration rate in this patient فاحنا عندنا a very close relationship على الرغم ان الرين الانجيوتنسل سيستم الالدوستينون سيستم بلوكج بالايس والاي ار بيز is known to preserve the kidney function on trade decreasing albuminuria for diabetic patients but 
use of these agents for heart failure patients was not proved to decrease the decline in the kidney functions اللي هو observed in most of the patients with heart failure فاحنا لو بصينا على الجراف برزنتيشن ده when the heart failure start in acute event احنا عندنا progressive decrease in the kidney function and this was not stopped by the angiotensin aldosterone system inhibition base we are base or aldosterone antagonist لان هم ليهم direct effect on the decreasing glomerular filtration rate as well. So there is no disease modifying agent up to this point of the presentation can decrease the progression of the kidney disease in the patients with heart failure. لحد ما ظهر الجروب of sodium glucose transporters inhibitors starting من الامبارك ال canvas program, the declared TMI program, and these all were phase three trials on diabetic patients. Well, now we have a marked improvement in the cardiovascular outcome. Like, for example, Dr. Ines, for the impaired outcomes, we have a 34 percent reduction in cardiovascular deaths or heart failure hospitalization, 35 percent reduction in heart failure hospitalization and cardiovascular death, 38 production reduction in the cardiovascular death. We did the only trial. Showing decreasing mortality with the, this group of drugs. Okay? How it works, Dr. Ines Harad slide Shabadi, how it works, how it improves the cardiac functions, improving both the systolic and diastolic function. The mechanism is very basic. The impact flows in decreasing the preload and the afterload and improve the inflammatory markers through improvement of the endothelial function and decreasing the left ventricular mass index. This own mechanism will improve. Both the systolic and diastolic heart failure. عشان كده, the impact flowsin is the only drug up to this moment that shows improvement in the patient with heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. No other drugs, either cardiovascular or diabetic or oral hypoglycemic, improves the patients by data or by clinical trials with heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, except the impact flowsin for the EMPRO reduced trial, of course. واحنا عندنا ادويه كتيره زي ما احنا عارفين زي الدايرتكس بتقلل البلاد فوليوم وتقلل البري والافتر لود از ويل بات هاو ات از ديفرنس ليه ليه الدايرتكس ما اديتناش البنفيتس اللي احنا خدناها من الامباكت لفلوزن والصوديوم جلوكوز كو ترانسبورتر انهيبيتورز الحقيقه ذا بيزك ميكانيزم ان اللوب دايرتكس بتقلل بوث ذا انترا فاسكولار اند انترستيشال بلاد فوليوم او فوليومز او فلويدز This deleterious effect on kidneys, they have an increased filtration rate, and it causes activation of the neurohormonal system. Acts the sodium glucose co-transporter inhibitors or impagliflozin that it acts mainly through decreasing the interstitial blood volume or interstitial volume, and that it does the same deleterious effect as the loop diuretics. So these are the mechanism of action, how it works, how it is different from the loop diuretics, how the loop diuretics, although it can relieve the symptoms, it has no mortality benefit, because it does more activation in the neurohormonal system, which might aggravate the outcomes in the heart failure patient. This is one of the very important small trials on the uh, impagliflozin. It's called the impoheart and how the impoheart, the impagliflozin, can decrease the left ventricular mass index in this patient, markedly against the placebo, of course. And decreasing the left ventricular mass index can be reflected in, in, on improvement of the diastolic function in this patient, and this can explain the improvement in the emperor preserved trial in the patients with heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. And then we have these... We have this uh, trial, the emperor reduced, and it was a game changer, actually. It changed the guidelines. Introduction of the sodium glucose co-transporters inhibitors and the guidelines was through several trials, and one of them was the emperor reduced trial. The emperor reduced was a very clear trial, very well designed. It was a double-blind randomized trial, including something like 3,700 patients, and all of them with heart failure, Ejection fraction less than 40%, if a heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, and they were randomized either to placebo with a standard of care treatment, of course, or impact flows in 10 milligram with a standard of care treatment. And then we have a very clear hard endpoints, either primary or secondary endpoints. The primary endpoints were the time to the first event of cardiovascular death or heart failure hospitalization. And the second in points was the first and recurrent heart failure hospitalization and the slope of change in the GFR, the kidney progression in the heart failure patient. So we have very strong primary and secondary in points, of course, in the 
um, uh, in the imp in the impro reduced trial and we have an inclusion criteria of course as i mentioned but the very very important to mention that we have diabetics and non-diabetics so we have non-diabetics taking oral hypoglycemic drug in order to improve the cardiac function in this trial and also we have a reduced gfr up to 20 milliliter per minute in our patients okay so they are these are patients who are very sick with advanced renal disease as well the baseline characteristics was similar between the two groups either the, the impact liflozin or the placebo groups of course but the only difference or the only thing i have to highlight that most of these patients were on optimal medical therapy and we have something like 20 percent of the patients on the sacobitril valzartanil who are arni or interest to for 20 percent machine on the drugs and they are up to date our guideline directed medical therapy 20 percent at least machine on arni and other patients can machine طبعا على ACE و ARBs و mineral corticoid antagonists and beta blockers for most of these patients can على optimized medical therapy and then we have the results the results were were very impressive the primary endpoints in cardiovascular death or hospitalization for heart failure was reduced by 25 percent 25 percent relative risk reduction in cardiovascular death and hospitalization the very impressive part a number needed to treat and look what طبعا عارفين number needed to treat اللي هي احنا محتاجين نعالج كم عيان to prevent one event احنا we need to treat only 19 patients to prevent one event in the primary endpoints. Just to know the number, how important we know the ICD, which is the Implantable Cardioverter Defibrillator, which we are using for heart failure to prevent the ventricular tachycardia sudden cardiac death. The number needed to treat to save one life in the trials of the ICD is something like 53. 53 patients from the 53 عيان to save one life. الحقيقة في الترايل بتاعة الإمبيج لفلوزن الإمبر ريديوزد احنا we need to treat 19 patient to prevent one event either hospitalization or cardiovascular death and this was the primary endpoints. And the primary endpoints it was similar in all subgroups either males or females and the cause of heart failure either ischemic or dilated cardiomyopathy and the exertion fraction and the body mass index and the glomerular filtration rate so we have no difference in the subgroup that received benefit from the impact liflozin in the emperor reduced trial i have best to mention the use of arni so احنا البيشنتس اللي بناخد بياخدوا عندنا في سكوبيتريل فالزرتانا وانترستو in this trial كانوا حوالي 20% الحقيقه they got benefit they got benefit on adding the impact liflozin على السكوبيتريل فالزرتان زيهم زي ال other patients اللي كانوا على ACE أو ARBs without sacopetrine valzartan. فا it's an add-on therapy على the guideline medical treatment in order to get benefit in the primary endpoints اللي إحنا قلنا عليها cardiovascular death or heart failure hospitalization. The second endpoint اللي هي repeated the first and repeated hospitalization we have a 30 percent relative risk reduction versus the placebo over the years. And the most important is the uh, one of the important endpoints, of course, is the decline in the glomerular filtration rate. The very important question to be answered: Halil impact in the can prevent the progression in the kidney disease in the heart failure patient. The emperor reduced trial proved that we have a plateau or we have prevention of the progression of the chronic kidney disease in the patient with heart failure while using the impact liflozin versus the placebo and the standard of care treatment of course and try to find differentiation between the two curves we had very slope and the tiny is plateau lower impact liflozin or so this was the results of the emperor reduced we have primary and secondary endpoints met with complete success it's superior trial versus placebo of course and this changes the guidelines so other endpoints makanich mawguda yani fi fi the definition of the trial but it was composite endpoints one of the most important of all progression to the end stage kidney disease we have a reduction in the progression of end stage kidney disease in the impact of losing arm versus the placebo with 50 percent relative risk reduction 50 percent relative risk reduction against placebo and we expect that the curve should separate more as we follow up yearly.
decreasing the progression of the kidney disease is very important in heart failure patients. One of the other endpoints is the improvement of the quality of, of life. The quality of life questionnaire used for the heart failure patients while using impact liflozin, we have something like 1.7 points improvement in the patients with impact liflozin versus placebo, of course. But this means that in the diuretic effect of the impact liflozin improved, improves the patient's symptoms and, and uh, quality of life. And this, these are the summary of the results of the uh, Emperor reduced trial. We have primary outcome endpoints met cardiovascular death, heart failure, hospitalization with 25% relative risk reduction. The secondary endpoints of the secondary outcomes the total heart failure hospitalization 30% relative risk reduction. We have uh, uh, decreased the progression of the kidney disease in the heart failure patients. We have exploratory outcomes including improvement of the composite kidney outcomes and decreasing the progression of the chronic of the end-stage renal disease we have an improvement in the quality of life in the patients on the impa uh, gliflozin versus the placebo of course regarding the side effects i heard a question about the side effects we are giving an oral hypoglycemic drug to non-diabetic patients although we we did this in the trial we didn't observe any hypoglycemic event or diabetic ketoacidosis event in the impact liflozin arm in this study. Although we have non-diabetic patients in this study. Okay? So this is regarding the side effect. Of course, the common side effect is the UTI and gen genital urinary uh, infection, especially in the females. And we have to be cautious while using if they have repeated infections, of course. Okay? So this trial, the emperor reduced, changed the future of the heart failure management. So the heart failure management, the guidelines changed this year according to these trials, the emperor reduced and the other trials of the sodium glucose transporters inhibitors, of course. So this, this is the recommendation of the European Society of Cardiology guidelines, how to treat or how to manage the heart failure. We have some, something called the fantastic four or the four pillars in treatment of heart failure, disease modifying agent, including ACE or ARNI, beta blocker, mineralocorticoid antagonist, DAPA or impact liflozin. So sodium glucose co-transporter inhibitors is class one indication in treatment of heart failure patients according to the guidelines after these trials. And then you can add, of course, loop diuretics for fluid restriction if the patient is loaded or symptomatic. And then specific treatment according to each case while adding an ICD or CRTD or advanced treatment according to, of course, to the patient. Uh, profile. This is the guidelines. Use of the DAPA or impact liflozin is recommended to reduce, reduce the risk of heart failure, hospitalization, and cardiovascular death, and the class 1A, of course, uh, level of evidence. And this is the management of heart failure with reducing the shock fraction according to the phenotypes. Of course, the fantastic 4 or the class 1 indication is indicated in all patients, starting with ACE. RNA, ARBs, beta blockers, mineralocorticoid antagonist, and sodium glucose co transporter 2 inhibitors. But can I answer the question of the TDBA heart failure patient? So we have two options either to go for a sequential treatment, starting by some of the drugs and then add on on the follow up, or to start with the four therapies at once during the, uh, the first, first presentation of the patient. Can I can it debatable? But the high using of the four agents, the a very important prognostic and mortality benefit with something like 8.3 added years to the patient while using the four treatment versus the conventional old therapy. 8.3 added years to the life while using the four disease modifying agent with improvement in all cause mortality, hospital admission, cardiovascular death, and cardiovascular death or hospitalization for heart failure admission. Uh, using of the comprehensive treatment approach uh, with the four drugs, improvement of all these points um, uh, versus the conventional therapy type. Al-Hayatullah has a proposal on how to use these drugs. One of the most important proposal الحقيقة اللي طلع بي آآ 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 واحد من الكارديولوجيست اللي عاملين الـ several trials including DAPA heart failure trial مثلا والـ paradigm heart failure trial هو كان اسمه ماك موراي ماك موراي قال it's very logic to start with a beta blocker and sodium glucose co-transporter inhibitor at the first step 
طب ايه الراشونال ورا كده؟ الراشونال ورا كده ان احنا عينيه الهارت فيلير هياخد وقت تو امبروف اني وايز بس اللي ممكن ما يحصلش بعد وقت هو السادن كارديك ديث الاريثميك ديث فالاديشن اوف ذا بيتا بلوكر از فيري امبورتنت تو بريفنت ذا اريثميك ديث ذيس از نمبر 1 اند ذا اديشن اوف صوديوم جلوكوز كو ترانسبورتر انهبيتور از فيري امبورتنت تو امبروف ذا سيمتومز اوف ذا بيشنت ديكريزنج كارديو فاسكولار ديث اند ديكريزنج ريكارنت هوسبيتاليزيشن اللي هو فيري ايفيدنت ان ذا فيرست 30 دايز فستارتنج وذ ذيس تو دراجز اند ذن ادينج ان ارني او مينيرالو كورتيكويد انتاجونست ان ديفرنت ستبس كود بي بينيفيشال اتس اونلي ا بروبوزد Uh, way of treatment yeah we can start the four taban together if the blood pressure of the patient and the kidney function can maintain but this is a proposed and this is when you use the quadruple therapy the four treatment uh, uh, option or disease modifying agent we get something like 73 percent reduction of the risk of death over two years So this is a key point in treatment or changing in treatment of heart failure, of course, population by using this disease modifying agent, the Fantastic Four, as we uh, as we said in um, uh, as we mentioned, Yani, in um, uh, in our meetings. Al Haya Bardo, one of the very important cues that we heard about the sodium glucose co-transporter inhibitors, in Homa, these are the statin of the 21th. Uh, 21 th century الستاتنز بتاعت القرن ال21 زي ما الستاتنز عملت سيفير او يعني ماركت امبروفمنت في القرن ال20 على التريتمنت بتاع الاثيروسكلروتيك كارديوفاسكولار ديز وي ار اكسبكتنج ان الصوديوم جلوكوزكو ترانسبورترز انهبيتورز تدي نفس الايفكت في الهارت فيلير وبريزرفينج اوف ذا كيدني فانكشن ايفكت سو ذيس ماي ماي تيك هوم مسج ذا ريمينز ا نيد فور تريتمنت ذات امبروف اوت كمز فور بيشنت وذ هارت فيلير بيزد اون ذا ريسنت هارت فيلير ترايل صوديوم جلوكوزكو ترانسبورتر انهبيتورز have been shown to improve outcomes in patients with chronic heart failure with reduced and then with preserved ejection fraction of course and may add to the effect of mainstay heart failure medication results of the trials of the sodium glucose transporter inhibitors in in the HFREF patient show a consistent safety profile similar to that seen in the type 2 diabetics even if the patient is not diabetic with no increase in hypovolemia hypotension or hypoglycemic events thank you very much thank you very much Uh, for this elegant presentation, um, highlighting the importance of uh, treatment for uh, use of empagliflozin.